types of sap population for that e6 will be isoenzyme c and isoenzyme b these are observed in bio biomass in the they are containing either a or b genotype of g6 pt here the diagram showing one of the muscle fiber that containing two types of alleles with the allele a which is in uh, orange color and g6 pd allele that is in b, uh, b that is in green color when the development will be it will be dividing by mitosis and forming two types of muscle fiber what g6 pd allele and one is containing g6 at uh, pd allele b dominantly so here those two types are fibers are here type a and type b so type a will develop to type a type of leomyomas this type b is developed to type b type of leomyoma so in the both type of leomyomas there is genetic monoclonality is there second is the field theory of the cancer here the limited number of cells only grow into the cancer after during the sequence of changes under the etiological influences this is a field effect and the concept called field theory of cancer theory is multi state process of the cancer growth and the progression it will include the gradual multi state process involving the many generations of the cells the multi hit process varies uh, in the uh, various causes by the various causes so the cell is damaged by the various cause the uh, by the multi hit involved in the progression of the tumor the genetic in transport cells form having a phenotypic uh, phenotypic features of malignancy the fourth thing is the genetic theory of the cancer genetic control normal and the abnormal types of control in the malignancy the gen normality in the cell or there is a norm with the abnormal expression phenotype the abnormality on the inherent or the induced mutation the mutated cells transmit their characters to next progeny of the cells that's the cancer so ultimately we have already discussed how the normal cell will be initiated or promoted by a ex external stimuli to damage its gene or the genome and ultimately transform it into the cells the point is the genetic regulators of the normal and the abnormal mitosis also be considered for development of the malignancy in the regulatory genes control mitosis as well as the cell aging and termination of the cell death by the apoptosis normal so there are the four regions will will be which will be con uh, conducting the function of the normal process of the cell cycle when they are altered they will producing the malignancy so what are these in the normal cell growth the proto oncogenes they are the growth promoting genes and they are important for the cell proliferation pathways the second uh, regulatory gene is anti oncogenes it will inhibiting or growth suppression gene so when there is initiation operation it will be in, uh, inhibited by the anti oncogenes the third one is apoptosis regulatory genes they will control the programmed cell death so 
if it is uh, lost they will producing the immortal cell and further it will be producing the malignancy fourth one is dna repair genes normal genes which regulate care of the dna damage that has been occurred during the mitosis and also control the damage to proto oncogenes and the anti oncogenes so when the dna is repaired the cell is uh, converted in the normal cell again so it is vice versa process but in the cancer all the four genes are disturbed so in this the activation of the growth promoting oncogene they are causing the transformation of the cell this is called as oncogene they cause this uh, detection in the virus and they the gene Products called as oncoproteins. The oncogenes considered as dominant factor that will be initiating the malignancy. The second gene is inactivation of the cancer suppressor gene. So the in the inhibition of the anti-oncogenes, they will permit in the cellular proliferation of the transformed cells active in recessive form. they will active only if the both alleles are damaged the third factor is abnormal apoptosis regulatory gene it is a oncogene or the anti oncogenes accordingly so they will active in dominant or the recessive form and they will check the normal process of apoptosis of a normal cell and interruption of the normal process of program cell death the failure of the of the dna repair genes when there is an inability to repair the dna damage they will resulting in the mutation of the cell and that cell will be further progress to a forming a malignant tumor the cancer related genes and the cell growth having some hallmarks in la large number of the cancer associated genes have been described each specific gene in cell growth some commonly associated with many of the tumors they will include the p53 or the t53 gene so here the major genetic properties or the hallmark of the cancer which will be included in all of the cancers be first excessive and the autonomous growth of a cell and the tissue second is the fractionary is to the growth inhibitions that will inducing the proliferation of a cell or the tissue third one escaping the cell death by apoptosis they will check the normal apoptotic phenomena and the cells will be immortal fourth the avoiding the cellular aging so those cells are immortal to continue mm -hmm. perfusion mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. organ mm -hmm. cancers six one is invasion and the distant metastases seven dna damage and the repair system the cancer progression and the tumor heterogeneity multi state molecular phenomena and the Last be the microRNAs in the cancer. So all the ten factors are involved in developing the malignant conditions. So first is the excessive and the autonomous growth, the growth promoting the oncogenes. Here the oncogenes are the mutated form of the double proto oncogenes. They will act by mechanism by the mutation in the proto-oncogenes, which alters its structure and the function. They act by retroviral insertion in the host cell, so the cell will convert it into the mutated cell by the damage to the DNA sequence that normally regulates the growth and promotes the cycle of the proto-oncogenes. resulting in its abnormal activation 
next mechanism is by the erroneous formation of the extra copies of proto oncogene causing the gene amplification and its over expression or the over production that promotes the autonomous and the excessive cellular proliferation the transformation of the proto oncogenes to oncogenes may occur by three types of mechanism may be due to the point mutation it may be due to the chromosomal translocation or by the gene amplification in turn here the alteration of a single base in the dna chain so it is most important the rns gene or the oncogene carried in most of the tumor so any point mutation in rns gene that lead to the mal so some of the examples of point mutation are bladder carcinoma pancreatic adenocarcinoma cholangio carcinoma the second mechanism is chromosomal translocation here the transfer of the portion of one chromosome chromosome carrying the proto oncogenes to another chromosome and making it independent of the growth control gene the examples in the philadelphia chromosome in 95% of the cases of the cml in which the abl proto oncogene on the chromosome 9 translocated to the chromosome 20 The seventy-five percent of the cases of Burkitt's lymphoma showing the translocation of T M Y C gene from chromosome eight to forty. In the gene amplification and mechanism, here the increasing the number of copies of DNA sequence in the proto oncogene leading to increased M uh, messenger DNA. So. Here, the increased overexpressed gene products will be formed, like in the neuroblastoma, where the N M Y C H S R region will be developed. In E R B B one in the breast and ovarian carcinomas, where the gene amplification mechanism will be producing the malignancy. Here, the three Diagram showing the chromosomal translocation associated with the oncogenes in upper side, uh, left upper side. Here, the chromosome nine and twenty-two showing the ABL BCR translocation. So, the new genome will so uh, will be formed showing the ABL BCR hybrid gene, which is causing the Deviation of growth factor signaling pathway by checking tyrosine kinase. So here the tyrosine kinase will check by the tyrosine kinase inhibitor and the process of conversion of the activation of growth factor signaling pathways are break. The second, the Burkitt's lymphoma and the chronic myelogenous leukemia production. Here the chromosome eight forty showing the M Y C oncogene replacement or the translocation. So here the increased M Y C protein will be formed. That will be increased, causing the increased expression of the pro growth genes. In right hand side, the diagram shows the amplification mechanism. Here the amplification of the N In the human neuroblastoma, the N M Y C gene normally we uh, present on the chromosome two P becomes the amplified and is seen either as an extra chromosomal double minute or as a chromosomally integrated homogeneous stain staining region. It is H S R. So here multiple Double minutes will be produced from the one of the region of the gene that will be amplified and forming a different types of the malignancies. 
the possible effects of the oncogenic transduction for, for the cell in the human tumors are the growth factors these are the first oncogene discovered which encode for the cell proliferation task they act by binding to cell surface receptors to get the cell proliferation task within the so the growth factors are small polypeptide these are liberated by the many of the cells and normally act on the another cell then one which is synthesized it to stimulate its proliferation the cancer cells acquire growth self sufficiency by the over expression to stimulate a large secretion of the growth factor so some of the growth factor examples are pdgf beta these causing the over expression of cis proto oncogenes in code for the pdgf beta and causes the increased secretion of pdgf beta the examples of some tumors are gliomas and the sarcomas the transforming growth factor alpha which is also be called as tgf alpha on the over expression of tgf alpha gene uh, alpha gene b stimulation of ras proton in cell proliferation by binding to epidermal growth factor receptors so they will mass and is cytomas the fibroblast growth factor f g f on the over expression of hst1 proton gene they will cause the bowel malignancy and the amplification of the int2 proton gene they will leads to right growth is higher this one is receptors for the growth like growth factors transported intracellular Okay, have the growth factor binding area and the inner surface having the enzyme activating area, which activates the cell proliferation pathways. When the mutated growth factor receptor stimulates the cell proliferation, the various oncogenes encoding for the growth factor receptor include other mechanism. Like the overexpression, mutation, and the gene rearrangement. So we have some uh, examples. Growth factor receptors. So first, the receptors normally the gene will combine with E R D E one term as a E G F R or B H G R one. This is the human epidermal growth receptor. The EGFR or HER or R1 acts by the overexpression in 80 percent of squamous carcinomas of the lung and the 50 percent of the ERB B2 or R2 new. Act by the gene amplification in the breast carcinoma and accounts for 25 percent of the breast carcinomas, CA lung, ovary, and the carcinomas. The C receptors they will show in the gene coding for the strain cell factors or the steel factor that active. Creates the parasympathetic kinase pathway in the cell proliferation. They will mutate by the receptor receptor called the GISG or the gastrointestinal 
stromal tumors. The red receptors, these are the rearranged during transfer, uh, transfection. So the proto-oncogenes is a receptor for the tyrosine kinase normally expressed in the neuroendocrine cells of the different tissues. In the point mutation seen in the man type 2A and 2B and the medullary carcinoma of the thyroid. The third factor is the cytoplasmic signal transduction protein. The normal signal transduction proteins in the cytoplasm can transudase the signals from the growth factor receptors present on the small uh, cell surface to the nucleus of the cell to activate the intracellular growth signaling pathways. Here, the mutated RAS gene functions as abnormal by the point mutation in the RAS gene. The RAS of the red sarcoma gene first discovered. And of the RAS protein is GDP bound, while in the active form is found uh, bound to GTP or the the GTP and the GTP are more to G proteins and take a part in the transduction in the And all the continuous to signal cell proliferation to the DNA or the RNA the genome. It is seen in the carcinoma of the colon lung and the pancreas. Other uh, side, the BCR APL hybrid gene. Here, the APL gene is non growth factor receptor, proto oncogene, having the tyrosine kinase activity. In the ABL translocated from the chromosome 9 to chromosome 22 and fuses with the BCR gene, here the breakpoint cluster reset will be created. In the gene and forms an ABL BCR hybrid gene. It is seen in CML and some of the cases of the acute leukemias. The next factor is the nuclear transcription factors. Here, the signal transduction that started with both factors ultimately reaches the nucleus. It regularly and in new normally MYC protein binds to the DNA and regulates the cell cycle by transcriptional activation and its level fall immediately after the cell enters the cell cycle. The MYC oncogene causes autonomous cell proliferation here are the, some of the examples of the tumor are C and YC. It is muted in MIC gene due to transcription of 814 gene seen in the Burkitt's lymphoma. The NMYC oncogene, it is muted in MIC gene due to the amplification seen in the neurotoma small cell carcinoma of the lung. The LMYC oncogene, it is due 
<clears throat> Normally, the cell cycle is under the leg. Regulate cleans. Is seen in animals. These are the A, B, E, and T cycles. The cycles are the cyclically synthesized during the different phases of the cell cycle, and their degradation is also being cyclical. The cyclins activate as well as work together with cyclin dependent kinases. While many of the inhibitors of cyclin dependent kinases are also there, so when the G one two is the most important checkpoint for the regulation by the is. In early study, endocyclin dependent uh, dependent kinases, in the particularly CD four cancers. Some of the examples <laughs> of the tumor, the mutated form of the cyclin D proto oncogene by the translocation seen in the mental lymphomas. Overexpression seen in the mutated form of CD by the gene malignant melanoma. As a mechanism to develop a grow, um, it will be through the PDGF beta, PGF alpha, FGF receptors, GF receptor, CKT receptor, red kit receptors, the cytoplasmic signal transduction proteins. Are the mutated genes? The nuclear transcription factors include the C and N. So here, uh, some of the categories of the uh, genes and the growth factor factors, which are showing the uh, some of the activation or the expression me uh, mechanism to produce a particular type of a cancer in the humans, like the growth factor PDGFB. The is where the proton protein P. GFP by the over in the mass. The blast will be on the FG FB affliction causing the Overpatient, they causing the hepatocellular cell carcinomas and the thyroid carcinomas. Growth factor receptors, EGF receptor family ERBB1 and ERBB1 causing the mutation. Is ERB2 or HAL? By the 3 they will use for the point mutation 
to form a leukemia different type of leukemia the receptors for the neurotrophic factors these are the rat they will also be causing the point mutation and producing the multiple endocrine neoplasia 2a and b the familial medullary pyrocarcinomas the pdgf receptors by the pd gf rb by the over expression and translocation they will producing Thank you.